Yeah, that'd be crazy if they're still pre-spawn. We did get a week of cold weather though, right before Memorial weekend. That sure feels like a crappie. Yep, sure is. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going out in Northern Wisconsin in search of spawning crappies. Um, I've always loved doing this. I'm always a huge fan of bobber fishing. Uh, it still has not left since I was a kid. There's just something about watching that bobber go down and catching nice crappies. So we're gonna go out here, guys. We're gonna go into some shallows around some brushy areas. And uh, basically that's where most crappies like to spawn. Something shallow, brushy, somewhere with a little bit of a hard bottom or a root system. Um, so that's what we're looking for. I got Jamie with me. He's still in the truck right now. Uh, and we're gonna go head out here and see if we can get some of these fish to get active. We got our PC fun rods, PC fun reels ready to rock. Got some hog pours, plastics, and we also got some live bait just in case we need it. So hopefully we got on some fish. Stay tuned, see how it goes. Got a big tangle? <laughs> Seems crappy. -ish. A little bit bigger. Tough so far, but hopefully we'll find them here soon. Almost sailed that one. Oh, that was a giant, dude. That was a, their mouths are ripping. Dude, that, do you see the roll from that? That was a monster, dude. Was that on a minnow? I might have to switch to a minnow. They might just not want this plastic. Oh, God. dude, what is happening right now? Good one. Oh, yeah, that's a nice copy. <laughs> I was pushing 12, 11 and a half. I'm over here looking at the reel. <laughs> Why are you not working? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that one. Yeah. Definitely spawning colors. They are spawning. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, slab. <laughs> slab. 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 Yep. Yeah, if you want to keep some, we can flip live on. Totally up to you. All right, guys. So we've been out here this morning. We're up in northern Wisconsin and we've been chasing some crappies that are just kind of wrapping up their spawn. So basically the situation here right now is you have some fish that are still up shallow and holding, doing their spawning thing, and then other fish have moved out. Um, and so we're gonna go out there and we're gonna take a look in the lake and see if we can find some post spawners here in a bit. But before we make that move, what I wanted to do real quick is just touch on the setup that I'm using uh, and why it's important to pay attention to a couple of specific things in your setup when you're crappie fishing. So number one, I'm using a 6.6 Ultralight PC Fun Serpent. Anything from a six foot to a seven foot is usually gonna be good. And that Ultralight rod has a good flex. Obviously, when you're talking about crappies, you're talking about paper mouse, and it is very easy, as you'll see in the video, um, to tear through their mouth and to miss them. We've probably, I don't know, lost 20 or 30 fish today. Um, so it's important, even with that Ultralight, we still lost fish. So it's really important to have that nice sensitive rod. Um, the other thing you'll note is a 1,000 size reel right here. That's the Carbon X 1000. And then a big thing is a light braid. So I've got a eight pound braid on here, which is super thin diameter. Um, you could even go down to a six or a four pound braid. And then as far as my leader goes, four pound fluoro. And Jamie actually has two pound on his rod. So everything is real finesse. -y. A lot of people overkill when it comes to fishing for panfish. So go ultra light, um, go with a sensitive rod that has a nice light backbone. And that way you'll be able to keep those crappies pinned when you get them hooked up, especially when you're around cover like lily pads or brush or something like that. Uh, as far as a bait today, I've been using a plastic all day, either a hog pours or a BAM custom tackle minnow, just swapping back and forth between that one inch and that two inch. And then Jamie's been mostly using a crappie fed head, which is pretty typical spawn stuff. So we are gonna go out here into the main lake and check some shallow weeds, see if we can find some more fish. 
Yeah, and the people in the um, in the derby were trying to say, because you can fish anywhere on the Three Lakes chain for the derby. They were trying to say that I was on Thunder Lake, that one I told you about. So they're like, oh, those are Thunder Lake crappies. There's no fish like that in this chain. So yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> Hello, crappie. Just talking about how we're not catching any on this shoreline, and we wondered why, but just had two bites in a row. Little boogie. Another week they'll be spawning. Look at those colors. Little orange markings there. Well guys, that is a wrap for today's video. Just got done and off the water here, caught a bunch of crappies, and unfortunately we lost a bunch of crappies as well. Um, Jamie rolled one that looked like it was probably 14, 15 inches. Um, we lost a couple of other really nice ones too. So unfortunately, sometimes that just happens with crappies. They have paper mouths, and even with ultralight rods, they will rip. So did have a few of those. Uh, caught some bluegills, caught some perch. Um, saw a couple of big fish blow up. Maybe muskies, maybe pike, not sure. But overall, it was a great morning. And now we're actually gonna go ahead to another lake and try for some smallmouth and see what happens there. So if you guys like this video, go down below, hit that like button for me. Also hit the notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time we drop a video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, guys. We really appreciate when you hit that subscribe button and help us out here on the PC Phone YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.